education is the key to success, yeah. you know. Unfortunately, we found other like, keys you know, yeah, yeah. to earn 10k a day just like that without yeah. being ordered by anyone. Or two. You know, the week I decided to leave my job yeah. was the week I made my salary. What's up, traders? Welcome to another installment of Market Masters Out and About Edition with myself. Mbile Tambani from Top Traders South Africa. This season is sponsored by Exynos, an international multi-asset broker which is also licensed right here in South Africa. On this show, I sit down with the most prominent and talented traders in the industry and we have chats on all things trading. Yo, 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 what's up guys? It's Mobile Tambani from Top Traders South Africa and today I am joined by Stylish Keys. What's up, brother? I'm alright, man. How's yeah, it? Nah, I'm good, yeah. I'm good. Thank you so much for like making time to come and sit down today yeah. and have a chat about your story, where Thank you, you so come much from. For having me. <laughs> Shut yeah. Up. Yeah, before we go anywhere, I actually want to start here. The name Stylish. Yeah. Stylish, where does it come from though? Because <laughs> I won't lie, I was looking at some of your throwbacks and I can see. Like, <laughs> yeah, so that's where it comes from, my yeah. sense of style. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the keys part? I play the keys. Oh, you play the keys. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it came about. Yeah. Stylish keys. Oh, so you're the, the guy who's looking keys, nice yeah. playing the keys as yeah, well. Yeah. Nah, back cool. in the day. In the day, yeah. yeah. And still I'm back in the day, going back then. Uh, how was life before Forex though? Like, what were, what were you doing before Forex? Before you even heard of Forex? So, obviously, I did um, teaching. Like most people know, I started teaching. Yeah, and I worked for like three years. Mm -hmm. That was before I started trading. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that's when Forex came <laughs> to my attention. I was yeah, a teacher. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I was busy teaching kids. And, yeah. Yeah, and the side you're learning Forex. Yeah, no, I started learning Forex in 2017. Okay. It was introduced to me by my brother, yeah, Dr. Yeah. Martin. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I didn't believe in it at first. Because okay. I mean, I was a career guy, you know. Yeah, yeah. That transition from being a teacher to forex is just unbelievable to teachers till this day. Is it? You know, yeah, because yeah. teachers don't really believe in forex; they believe in learning mm. and making it in life. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like they always say, education is the key to success. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, we found other keys. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you've got you found success in other in forex can yeah, you say that yeah 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 100 yeah, yeah. percent yeah. <laughs> yeah so what what's the one thing that you would tell yourself like back then now now that you've like walked the journey that you've walked what is one thing that you would tell yourself back then about forex yeah basically yeah um like i like i said i never used to believe in yeah, forex yeah. you understand for me it was very impossible to to earn 10k a day just like that without mm -hmm. being ordered by anyone or mm -hmm. doing anything mm -hmm. that stressful you understand because in true sense if you are outside of forex it looks easy mm -hmm. compared to when you are inside you know mm -hmm. people that are not trading are thinking ah these guys are just making easy yeah, money yeah, you understand yeah, yeah. it's like ah these guys are just pressing their phones and now there's money something is dodgy hence a lot of black people even today still think forex is a scam because we are not technologically advanced in our community mm. you know you can't believe in making money from social media forex whatever anything that is technology based we never used to believe in those things so now looking back I, I, i'd say um yeah this this chain is nice is it yeah. <laughs> yeah no that's great so when did you like make the transition from like did, did you make the transition from teaching to Forex or what what was the process like? like? So I started learning Forex in 2017 around October, yeah. right? And I wasn't that interested that much because I was a career guy, like I said, until I decided to put my full attention to it. This was 2017 around December. Mm. And the only reason why I did that was because I saw my twin was starting to get petty cash, you know, money to buy phones. And I was still using an Android phone at the time. So I was like, what this guy is using an iphone and i'm using an android phone i'm the one that's working how is this possible you know? <laughs> i was like let me just give it a chance yeah. in 2018 
um, around March, I was bowling heavy. You know, yeah. the week I decided to leave my job yeah. was the week I made my salary. I used to earn something like 12.5 at mm-hmm. the time, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I made 12.5 in a week. So yeah. I was like, you know what, uh, <laughs> I'm leaving this thing. <laughs> if I can make 12.5 in a week, yeah. that means I can make more yeah, if yeah, I were to yeah. put all in, you know. Yeah, yeah, so that's yeah. how that transition happened. That's when I decided that, you know what, I'm just leaving this teaching journey, focusing on Forex. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's how I left it. Yeah, so like, was it like easy learning? Because right now you're a teacher now, right? Um, yeah. And was it easy to learn the like the like everything about forex, the because obviously you're teaching kids. What grade were you teaching? I was on foundation phase. Foundation phase. Yeah. So you're teaching kids. So yeah. like easy to like a, like get the skill or rather get the knowledge. Or... For me, it wasn't that hard learning yeah, because yeah, yeah. I've always been a fast learner. You oh, understand? Okay. Unlike some some other kids in the class, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was I was I was one of the top five in the class. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it was easy learning. Oh. And I was I was practicing as I was learning, yeah. so it was more of a practical uh, type of a situation than it was of an um, academic uh, side, you know. Because yeah. sometimes people don't get the hang of forex because they are more focused on the theoretical part more than the practical yeah, part. Yeah. There's a lot to learn in forex, and at the time, I learned a lot of things in a short space of time because I was practical. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. I have a question from Instagram uh, from Soyama underscore underscore M. They were asking, how does it feel to be a famous trader? <laughs> <laughs> Till this day, that, that, yeah. that doesn't really um, hit home, you understand? Yeah, because yeah. it's overwhelming knowing, uh, knowing the fact that people know you yeah. and you inspire a lot of people. Because yeah, yeah, everywhere yeah. I go, people are like, stylish, stylish, stylish. Yeah. Yeah. Even with the car, when they see that branding, mm, they're like, yeah. stylish keys, stylish keys. Um, it's a very heartwarming feeling, you understand? Mm. Yeah, it's just it's just out of this world. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so back 2018, you've just made 12.5 in a week. Yeah. How does life move after that? Like, what else happens in 2018 with your Forex journey? Bro, I was telling my friends yesterday yeah. that... Um, in 2018, I made a lot of money. There was a point where I was on 700,000 balance in my bank account, very young, yeah. having a lot of money, yeah. straight from slavery to <laughs> financial freedom. I was like, you know what? Yeah. I was pulling heavy, pulling yeah. heavy. Yeah. So I, I started doing things that were out of the way, you know, I lost focus, started yeah. focusing on other things. That's when my downfall came, mm. understand? Because I got to the top, when I wasn't mentally prepared. Mm. And then I came back to the bottom. I had to build from rock bottom, yeah, yeah. straight straight back to the ground. Yeah. I had to rebuild myself. Yeah. So yeah, that's how my 2018 went. Like, that very nice, ended very bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Exynos is one of the first brokers in the industry to introduce instant deposits and withdrawals. This enables traders to receive their funds within seconds of requesting them without any manual human interference. We are also regulated by the FSCA, the FSA, the FCA, and SISEC. When you're trading, you want to ensure that the funds you've deposited with your broker are in the safest of hands. Exynos keeps all trader funds completely separate from its own company funds. This is in accordance with our strict internal policies and procedures. Even if the worst occurred and something happened to Exynos as a whole, customer funds would be completely secure. The process of rebuilding, was it just a thing of acquiring funds or was it a thing of now you need to go back to the books, go back and study, watch videos or like what was the process of... Because you'll find that there's so many people right now who are in the position that you're in you make a lot of money. It might not be 700k, but like they'll make like maybe 50,000 rand, 100,000 rand. And then next thing you know, they lose it and they lose hearts. Like what was that thing that gave you that thing to want to rebuild again? So in my own experience, that's how Forex works. The more you put in the work is the more you get to know your charts. You understand? It's not even a matter of you going back to the books or you sitting at home. So 
what I've experienced in the charts is that the more you spend your time on the charts, the more you get to master them. And if you are the master of the charts, the money eventually comes. Mm. You understand? So if you have money, you are not paying attention to your work. Obviously, you want to lose the momentum. You want to lose the skill because yeah, why? Yeah, the market is an evolving market. You yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. doesn't remain the same. What we used to trade in 2017 is not what we are trading now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How I used to trade last year is not how I'm trading now. Mm. Why? Because each and every single day you evolve. So what I used to do back in the day, I would sit on my screen having no money to fund in Soweto. I used to sit on my back room having no money to fund. I was still hustling here and there, playing the kids every now and then at church, you understand? Getting those 400 bucks a day, you understand? And I had four days. I was renting at that time, paying yeah. around 1.2. Yeah. So this was like 1.6 a month, and I had 400 days to fund from the 1.2. Still had to eat, <laughs> still had to do other things. Yeah, yeah. That is when I decided to go do other wrong things that were out of the way, yeah, yeah. to hustle money to fund, you understand? Yeah. But every single day, I would sit on my charts and just watch it, watch the charts, how they're moving, you understand? Mm. That was when I was down and out. Yeah, yeah, so I had to rebuild the skill, understand how the market is moving, yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. I had to come back and be a student yeah. of the market again. Yeah. 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 I know in one of your posts, uh, you went, you spoke about trading what the market actually gives you. Yeah. You know, trading your own, like your own thing. That That is who I am. After I've, I've lost a lot of money in the market, I've learned to trade what the market gives you. Yeah. You understand? But, but, how do you know when the market is giving you something? Because I think that's it, it, essentially we are buying and selling. It's two buttons, buy, sell. Yeah, you know? and it's then, two buttons, yeah. right? So still, you can still use these two yeah. buttons wrong. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Hence you blow. Yeah. You can't be buying when the market is saying, now we are selling. Yeah, yeah. You can't be selling when it's saying, now you are buying. Yeah, yeah. You understand? But obviously that's a part of my course. Um, I trade in a very simplistic way, not complicated, but very progressive and profitable yeah, yeah. 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 okay so uh, how do you go about planning for your trades um so are you I, I don't do weekly analysis i don't analyze for the day i just analyze for a setup right now okay. we sit down we analyze we find an entry we trade that is how i trade and what if you don't find a uh, setup if there's no setup there's no trade you can't trade when there's no setup <laughs> that's why that's why i always say Trade, uh, plan your trades yeah, and trade yeah. your plan. If you know me, you are going to know that that is my biggest motto. Yeah, plan yeah. your trade, trade your plan. Yeah, yeah. You can't plan a selling market and then you buy. Why are you buying? Like, no, I need to go here and then <laughs> you get here, I must sell. No, you must plan your trade, trade yeah. and trade your plan. Yeah. Understand, yeah. Nah, that's cool. So what would you say is basically your trading style? Bitch? Hey, bro, me, I'm a very risk. I'm a very big risk taker, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I have a very big risk appetite yeah. when it comes to trading. I barcode my trades. I go on in. <laughs> it's either all or nothing. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, how I that trade. low margin level, 100%. Bro, you know when they say you killed the margin, you killed it. <laughs> that's how I trade. Yeah. If I find 10K, I'm willing to lose 10K. I can't... I, 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 don't, I don't use risk management. I don't even know what it is. Risk to reward, I don't even know what that is. If I fund now, yeah. I'm willing to work. Okay. You understand? So I put it all in. Yeah. All or nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want 30% of the money that is in the market. Yeah. I want all. You understand? Yeah, of everything yeah. that you fund. Yeah, 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 yeah. At least 1,000% growth, 500% growth. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad from your funding. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what's like your, since your, your trading style is being very aggressive, what's like your, how can I put this, your approach to the markets when you open the charts? What's the first thing you're looking for? So I'm very disciplined when it comes to an entry. You yeah. understand? I don't just enter because the market is dropping, now yeah. we are entering. Because the market is buying, now we are entering. I'm very disciplined when it comes to an entry. Mm -hmm. I'm very specific because of the trading style I have, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's the approach I bring to the charts. Yeah. Whenever I come to my charts, I want to find an entry and then put all my money in. in there. Yeah, if it blows, that means I was wrong. Okay. You understand? Yeah. If I'm right, it can't blow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, nice. So I see you've traded um, 
indices and also currencies as well. Yeah. Like, which one's your favorite between the two? Bro, oh. I've traded currencies back in 2017, 18, mm-hmm. 19. I think I stopped trading currencies in 2019. Yeah. It's been two years with indices Is now. It? Yeah, I started trading NASDAQ when it was around 6,000. It was around oh, the yeah, price, yeah, 6,000. Yeah, yeah. Before it could get to, now it's on 15,000, I think. Yeah, yeah. So we are 10,000 points ahead. Yeah. And I've been trading NASDAQ yeah. ever since. Yeah. So what actually caught my attention on NAS was the fact that I could take a 600 trends account to 90,000 in a week. I've done that twice. Yeah. At some point it was it was in a week, at some point it was in a day. Obviously, when I took 600 to 90 in a week, I still had that currency pairs trader mindset, okay. you know? Because if you're a currency pairs trader, you wanna you wanna build an account, yeah, yeah. risk um, 30% of the account to make 70%, yeah. I understand. But um, ever since I started trading indices, that doesn't work because yeah. they are very volatile. Yeah. You can easily make 90K from 600. Yeah. And then if you want to grow that 90K, you can easily blow it also. <laughs> understand? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't trade currencies anymore right now at okay. this point. Yeah. Okay. Trade NAS and German Wait, you even got like a tattoo. Yeah, I got a tattoo. <laughs> King Nesdaq. King yeah. Nesdaq. We'll take a picture of yeah. that and put it on the screen for you guys to see. Yeah. Nah, that's cool. I have cool. a tattoo. Yeah. Nesdaq, Gold Street. So I'm no longer a currency pairs trader yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. I'm in Old Street. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's lit. Yeah. That's lit. Um, so what time frames are you, do you mainly like focus on? Because right now you're obviously you're trading Nas right now. So... It depends on what question you are asking when okay. based on time frames. Okay. So with time frames, there's obviously analysis and yeah, age. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. I don't analyze on small time frames. Sometimes go to small time frames for entries. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. But obviously, if you want to know the bias of the market, you must mainly focus on our time frames. The higher the time frame, the less it lies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's lit, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So once you're in profit, what is like, next what's what is the one thing you focus on when you're in profit right now because i know a lot of people tend to like the moment you you see that blue and it's like maybe just a hundred rand people are like okay i must close now so what is your, your Bro, thought process behind that, is a, that? that that is a psychological issue you must deal with as a yeah. trader you mustn't be afraid of money yeah you understand you mustn't be overwhelmed by money yeah, yeah you understand yeah. you mustn't be scared of money yeah so me, by so saying, I mean, you mustn't be afraid of losing money, mustn't be afraid of seeing money. Mm. That is how you make money in life in general. Yeah. You understand? I have made cheese that close 200 bucks. Eh? As soon as the trade goes to 200 bucks, <laughs> they are out. You yeah. know why? Yeah. They are still overwhelmed by the feeling of making money. I've been there at some point, yeah, yeah. and now I'm at a point where I trade, I trade a setup, I don't trade figures yeah, you understand yeah, yeah. so if the market is still gonna drop or still gonna push up i don't care about the figures yeah, yeah. i just want to see my setup being fulfilled yeah. hence i always say you must plan your trade and trade your plan yeah. understand so if you are targeting a 50 points move hold until the market gives you 50 points mm. forget about the money the money eventually comes with the market yeah, understand yeah. sometimes you make 50 sometimes you make 10 the market decides yeah, yeah. understand yeah. so just yeah. trade just yeah. trade don't be scared of money. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you've got Regenesis Wealth Club. Yeah, founded yeah. by Dr. Martin. Oh, founded by Dr. Martin yeah. as well. So you guys are working together. Yeah, that guy's my mentor. He taught me how to trade. Is it? <laughs> he introduced me to the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's he's the one that taught me how to trade. Regenesis Wealth Club belongs to him. So I'm a part of Regenesis Wealth yeah, Club. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, now nah, that's great. And he is your twin brother. Yeah. I was actually, I was actually quite. I, I always thought you guys were brothers, though. Like I wasn't aware you guys were twins. Cause now I can't do it. It's nice. Yeah. 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 So I've got another Instagram question from Bonalo. Uh, Bonalo Tebe. Uh, okay, this one is very interesting. Yeah. But does being a hero burden you sometimes? Yeah, it does. I don't want to lie because. Um, for instance, where I grew up, I grew up in a very unprivileged background, okay. you know. So obviously, with a lot of people looking up to you, it's not easy to um, expose your weaknesses. Mm. You understand. Mm. So that's that's a very big burden. You yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah. If if you are 
at the top and people look up to you yeah. you can you can be weak yeah. understand yeah. so now it means you must be strong not only for yourself yeah, but yeah. for someone else that's looking up to you yeah. understand so with every decision that you're making you must always think of someone else that is inspired by you yeah. someone else that is looking up to you yeah. understand even as a trader as a mentor if you want there's there's days where you feel like giving up i remember i blew uh 300 uh, 300k in one day you know i yeah. built that account from 4k in less than 24 hours it was on 300k yeah. i posted it people saw it yeah, yeah. and i blew it mm. you understand mm. imagine how discouraging that is yeah, yeah. so even in in that in that in that um situation you must act strong you must be strong not only for yourself but for someone else that is out there looking up to you you yeah, understand yeah, yeah. so that's how hard being um a hero is yeah based on that question to answer that question yeah. <laughs> yeah another instagram question um from colisi underscore love 97 uh what kept you going during your losing season so um i think the biggest thing you can have in life is a dream you understand yeah, yeah. you must be able to see yourself where you are going where you want to be um I, I, have, I have a very big Christianity background. So growing up, there was a verse that I had back in the day. It, kept, it, it inspired me to push in life before even Forex, where in the Bible they mentioned God asking, um, was it um, Abraham, how far he can see? I think it was next to an ocean or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then it was like, he, as far as his eyes can see. And then God said, um, as far as your eyes can see the land is yours mm. you understand so th- this is what i mean by saying in life the biggest thing you can have is a dream you must be able to see yourself going somewhere before you can even get there yeah. you understand so that you are able to push even when you cannot push yourself that dream must push you yeah. you understand you must be able to see yourself driving a, a mclaren so that you don't get comfortable driving a golf 7r yeah, yeah. you understand because i believe a lot of people don't have a purpose in life they don't have dreams you must be able to dream that is what that is what's going to keep you going in life yeah, i believe yeah. so yeah yeah no, that's great uh coming to my favorite part of the thing the show can you tell us your biggest loss that you've experienced but in this case it doesn't necessarily have to be like in monetary terms yeah. you know, just a loss where you look where you just sit back in like yeah no there i was like yeah bro um that 300k yeah. story yeah that was the biggest loss i've made yeah, yeah, yeah. in a day right yeah. but that was not the biggest loss that that gave me a heart attack or that <laughs> hit home because yeah. you know i lost 300k and i had money okay you understand yeah, yeah. so this one time I went out of my place, I had 97,000 in my bank account. Yeah. I was still upcoming, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just got in my breakthrough in Forex, I had 97,000 in my account. I went to the chains, we chilled, you know. I started trading, started trading, started trading. Kept on losing. Kept on funding 10K, 20K, 10K, 20K. When I went back home, I went back with 2,000 rand. <laughs> And I had rent to pay, I had bills to pay, you know, yeah. I had gas to pour. Mm. So for me, that was the biggest loss that hit home. Because yeah, yeah. imagine having money. When you have when you have 90,000, 90, yeah. you have money. You know, like <laughs> Just, more especially when there's more money yeah, coming yeah, in, you know, yeah, yeah. consistent um, profit, you know, and there's 97K in your bank account. You have money, bro. And when you go back home with 2,000, you are mm. broke. So on that day, yeah. bro, I got broke on that day. Mm. But I pushed that yeah, 2K, yeah. borrowed um, 3K from a friend of mine, John Sales, gave me 3K. Yeah. Tokyo gave me 2K. I funded um, 6,000. I took it to eight the yeah. following day. Yeah. So I was back. Yeah. You know? But what would you say about the people borrowing money to trade? Though? What would... Is depends some... depends on the level of friendship you understand okay. but it is what it is <laughs> you are, i don't want to say yeah. you mustn't borrow money to trade yeah. because people have different views on borrowing money but i don't play with money with people i'm close with yeah, you understand because yeah, 
money is a problem. You yeah. understand? <laughs> if I value the relationship, I won't borrow you money. I won't borrow money from you. Mm. Because I'm going to give you a date. On the 30th, I'm going to give you your money back and I don't give it to you. Yeah. Now our relationship has a problem. Yeah, yeah, you understand? Yeah. So you mustn't trade money you are not willing to lose. That's another thing. Mm. So you can't borrow money and say, I'm going to fund trade, withdraw, pay you back. <laughs> the market is not... It's, it's not your father's place, <laughs> you understand? The market will humble you, so it can easily take that 2K and blow it. Yeah. Now you have debt, yeah. unnecessary debt. You don't know how, to go, how you're going to pay it back. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so what's your most memorable trade, like your best trade, where you look back and like, yeah, they, yeah everything was smooth. Bro, um, I think that's the trade that gave me my breakthrough. I used to find 150 rands a day yeah. and make like 500. Okay. I was very satisfied with making 500 rands a day yeah, yeah, because yeah. I could see the change mm. in my life, you yeah, know. Yeah. Right after I, 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 I fell to the ground, yeah. I had to start from scratch, step by step. I used to make 500 rands a day, that was 2.5 a week, mm. 10,000 a month, mm. you understand? So on that day, I found it 150. I made 10,000 from 150. I was trading UK oil at the time. Okay. It moved like never mm-hmm. before, bro. Mm. So I made a 10K from 150 yeah. deposits. That was my best trade, bro. Mm. I don't mm. want to lie to you. Yeah. yeah. No, that's great. Now, coming to the end of the interview, uh, do you have any trading advice you'd like to give your people there, people watching? Um, obviously, I've said a lot of things in yeah. social on social media, yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to say this until it sinks to people's heads. Yeah. You understand? If you want to be the best trader, you must be strong psychologically. Yeah. You understand? It's not even about being the best analyst. It's not even about uh, not sleeping at night, mm. staying up the whole night. Because you can stay up the whole night, make money and blow it the following day. So be strong in the mind. Trade to withdraw. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you fill up your bank account. Yeah. We are not here to be known. We are not here to have the best trades. We are here for the man. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you so much, bro. Thank, Thank you so much. appreciate friend. you making time for us to sit down and talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I really yeah. appreciate it, bro. Yeah, thanks. Anyway, guys, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'm sitting here with Stylish Keys today. And a big thank you to the sponsor of the show, Xmas, for making this possible. <laughs>